For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwall's Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a review on a tent here from Camper. So this here is the Camper Studland 8 Classic. So the Classic refers to the polycot material that has rather than the normal Studland, which actually are the Air Pro, which is polyester. So the joys of polycotton actually is that it's actually breathable. So in a hotter, sort of more humid climate, the weaver actually expands, allows air to pass through it. So it's a lot cooler on the inside. On the flip side of that, when it actually is sort of colder, the weave sort of stays nice and neat and tight and keeps the warmth in. And certainly probably something you'd see not more only in the UK, but if you're going across the sort of Europe, or you know, really polycotton is the way you have to go. I wouldn't go in anything other than that. Generally, the stun's been around for a few years now. There's not a really huge amount of change uh, for the 20 sort of uh, going forward 2019 season. It's still pretty much the same beast. And it's one of the things that's not broke, don't fix it. So not only is it kind of like a free zone tent with a sleeping area, a main living area, and then obviously the canopy area at the front, uh, but you've still got lovable features such as obviously a single point pegging for the guy rope and then the base part as well. And you've got little blue tabs for the main four corners. Yeah, again, just helps really to know kind of when you go step by step on how to put it up. Well, us, as always with us at Alls here, you can check out our pitching and packing videos on how simple and easy they are to put up. I think I've done a stuttering on my own in about sort of 11, 12 minutes, which for something this size, albeit it's got a front canopy on at the moment, so just ignore that, it's incredible really. The front canopy is an optional extra you can look at as well, and it physically zips on like so, and a zip physically on the tent, and then it just pegs back over itself. And actually, to bear in mind, you've also got a zip on the front of the canopy. So there is what they call a mesh vestibule, which can be zipped onto the front, which is basically a big sort of uh, front panel, but purely mesh. So it gives you a good circulation of air, but also keeps all the bugs and critters at bay. But you can check out our own little mesh vestibule video on that as well. The one of the things that are quite nice about Sunland is you've got beautiful sort of clarity windows, uh, but also high level ventilation as well as low level ventilation below the uh, bedroom part itself. Generally, it's, it's, like I said, it's been a very, very popular model just because actually in terms of what you pay for what you get, I think it's quite good. And when you look at the likes of, say, uh, Van Gogh or Zempire or Outwell, you know, the quality and the features built into tent it actually makes it, like I said, quite good value. The canopy is something you can always look at adding on. And like I said, it's something that this canopy would actually fit uh, last year's model. So it's something you can look at an addition on having on. But let's talk through a few more features on the inside. So now we're inside the tent, you can kind of get a bit more of an idea of the free zones you've got in here. So this part here is actually the canopy, which I said is an ad added on extra, but you've still got um, a front door embedded onto the front canopy. So the canopy is stitched on the tent, uh, which is just there. And that can be positioned in sort of several sections. You can kind of have it at different points on the front. Going forward, actually for 2019, there's also gonna be little metal clasps, just hold the door in several positions. That way it's a little bit more sort of, well, it, if the wind sort of blows, it's not going to suddenly start undoing the zip naturally for you. You get a ground sheet supplied in this front area with the actual tent as well, uh, which again just got toggles in the corners just to keep it nice and taut. Personally, I feel with this open canopy, I would have it kind of like I have now here, wide open, leave the ground sheet out, and that way if it starts to rain, suddenly it's just going to simply come inside and just drain quite nicely. Generally, one thing you've got as well in the canopy, you've got sort of two nice big uh, windows on the side, as well as probably one of my favorite features about a tent. It's the high level ventilation points, which give a really good circulation to make it sort of fresher and airy in here. I mean, even like I said, you want a nice breeze without having to have the bugs all come in. The mesh festival, which I talked about on the, on, the, on the canopy, like I said, can also go on the front here as well. So you want to necessarily not to have that extra, you could just buy the, the mesh canopy and it'll just go straight down like that. When you come into obviously the main living area, you've got a, um, a similar sort of door to the front, whereas it can be zipped back all the way and it just opens up, but you've got a nice flat lip in and out of the sort of canopy uh, area of the tent into the main living area, which again stops as a trip hazard for the little kids. Ventilation points not only above the top here, uh, but yet again, you've got the ability to close that if you want to. Nice PVC window. Because it's an eight berth, you've either got six at the back and an additional uh, two berth in a bedroom sort of position there. So just roll this back a little bit, it's out of the way. 
So you can see the inner bedroom there, which you can obviously put up and down at your discretion. Personally, I would say, as anyone who knows and watches the videos previously, it's probably something you'd put up during the night time and take down during the daytime, just because it takes up internal room. Uh, and it's one of those things that I think personally, you know, it's essentially your quarter of your living space in the main part. So you can just untoggle it every time you want to use it if need be. Do, 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 do. That'd be fun. But one thing to bear in mind, I'd say, there we go, that's better. Just makes you a bit more visible. You can see in the tent a bit better now. Um, but there's actually a really nice mesh path on that front part. So I know a lot of people leave their sort of dogs in there and have it well ventilated. But as you can see from the bedrooms, they're actually quite dark. So certainly uh, it stops you from, you know, waking up at crack of dawn. And that's the same feature at the bedrooms at the back here as well. You've got two side doors positioned uh, left and right, right near the bedrooms, both with mesh. And the one on the left hand side here has actually got a little rain safe canopy door as well. Yet again, the curtains you've got in here, due to the spec of it, I'll zip them down. So it means you can have sort of a better coverage as such. And you've got a little retainer in a pocket at the bottom. So you can kind of zip them up a little bit, give yourself a little bit of privacy, but also have light. So all the windows are completely the same on that. So the side windows as well. So. And so it simply just rolls up into a little pocket down here. Each beam is inflated individually. So you can, like I said, see from our picture videos, just go along, inflate as you go. And the joys of it again is you've still got sort of other things. There's a little bottom valve, very simple to use, and a, a manual pump is supplied with it. Bedroom is the back, like I said, it's basically a six berth along the back. and uh, It's sort of valued as a two, two and two, but you've got the ability of a complete zip dividers all the way around it. So you can actually have it as a big open six berth if you wanted it to, or a four and a two, so it's very versatile. You've got little storage pockets at the front of the pockets here as well, just for small keys, torches, anything light like that. What you've also got is extra little pockets in the bedroom itself. One thing probably people weren't aware for last year but carries on forward is you've got the ability of adding a wardrobe pole um, in there. So there's little clips, you may have it if you've seen got a tent already, just located here, little blue clips. And that relates to the little wardrobe pole which you can buy as an added extra. And you can fit in either end of the bedrooms uh, just give yourself a bit more extra storage. Obviously a nice big mesh part inside for the main tent itself. But going forward in 2019, they're actually, it's not on this model, but there'll be a lower lip into the bedroom as well. So that way you've got that same sort of premise and not a bigger trip hazard coming in here. Glorious amount of room inside once you're here. I'll get changed in the mornings, not an issue. One thing probably that's quite, I do certainly like about kind of the camper, range of tents is you've got this flexi saber light system so lighting is always an issue certainly when you know in england for example but even across continental europe you've got what they call a little velcro part uh, which is pre-stitched into where the beam is and you can buy what they call a, a saber light it's a flexi one you need you can buy a starter and a couple of add-ons so starter was essentially one set with all the plugs you can pop it in one place you can then add an add-on with a long enough cable to re on next beam. So every single beam interior here has got that light system available to be sort of applied. You've also got general sort of Velcro tabs. So if you want to, you can create your own normal sort of lantern if you've got something from years gone by. And there's still cable entry points down the sides so you can get mains hook up inside the actual tent itself. But generally, really nice models. People who've had Stunden have known it for a while. And it's yet again one we have up our, at our indoor display showroom. Check out the video on this, obviously, of the, uh, the polyester version if you wanted to sort of conflab between two. But I think where you can afford, or especially with our interest-free finance, it's probably worth going for the polycotton for quite a number of reasons. But any more questions or queries, let us know what you think of the product. Comment below. Alternatively, like I said, subscribe to our YouTube channel.